haya. Huyu ni finance coach himself. Keno huko. Mbona usongi karibu pale? Ah? Mbona unasimama simama mbali? Umeogopa watu? I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge to show how to make clay. Sasa ndio nakufanya unasonga mbali. Na wale wengine wana explain hiyo pale umesimama kando. Everything is paid. So you have to just make sure you come mbali. Lakini ah hajakwambia wanalipisha? Ah, I'm sure that matter will be. Ukisha maliza. Eh. Eh. Hapa utalipa. Hapa there is no talking over free. Sita sauli lipia tana rijana. Sita sauli lipia tana rijana. The smelly things. I paid for the smelliest place. I'm not buying anymore. You're not buying. Okay, so this is third day. I believe, yes, that day you are now way to the Atlas Mountains with a group of other tourists as well because you pay at the hotel, then they have different people. Um, so this was our team. As you can see, she's explaining how the Babas live. It's like a Babas village. These are like old people, uh, old Moroccans, like traditional living, you know. Like if you are Luo like me, you know how these things are, like Jikoni, the old kitchen and stuff. You know, it's just the same, similar stuff. They have made money out of it, you know. And we went in there and... As you can see, Chasey there, she's saying oh, okay. there's a toilet, but that's not a toilet, that's a kitchen. She later came and explained. And then we have them making some stuff from castor oil. Let's mm -hmm. see. Here we burn it to make fire for uh -huh. cooking. Yeah. Or I think I saw it there in the hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no. yeah. yeah. so as you can see really this is just like an old kitchen if you're from Yandiwa like me you know that uh, this is something we used to have or we still have actually but of course you know uh, they, to them now this is like really 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 traditional and they show it to tourists most tourists have never seen such a thing so obviously they're fascinated by it and um yeah we saw their kitchen and then we went into this room so you can see they make a lot of things handmade within this village they make honey they make oil for hair they make um herbal stuff they make soap for the skin they make so many things so, yeah here they're just basically explaining to us the process of how they go about it uh these are basically from peanuts they make like really nice peanut butters as well um and then they have the seeds that they, that are used to make castor oil and um what do you call it organo or something like that this this kind of oils man i'm a man so i don't know this right? but they make like the oils. they make like loads of stuff yeah. amazing stuff good for your skin some of them is in tech they have like this mask they have so many things they have so many things it's basically a traditional, um, more of a traditional pharmacy kind of how they used to live, you know, how the soap they use, the cooking stuff, the spices they use, the, the oil they use for bathing, for massage, for uh, different issues. Yeah, but this was a nice place. I love it. Um, so this was really awesome. She's just explaining each and everything, and then she passes it around for us to like smell it or taste it, or depending on what should be done. They also give you tea. There and this is included in, your, in the cost for the trip. Oh, traditional hat for the barbers. Yeah, so it's a hat and it's all. Ah. Okay, so we hit it from here. So I can show you how to go. So it's not toilet, man. The black one sandalwood, the brown one uh, is umber, it's perfume. Let me smell. This is eucalyptus. eucalyptus. Uh -huh. So we smell it. We smell it. Ah, yeah. Ken's money matters. You are here. Tell us where you are. Um, 
بابا زامبيج اتلاس مونتس اتلاس مونتس ان ماراكيش موروكو ماراكيش از ان ماروكو از اوت اوف ماراكيش وانا ادرايف اوت اوف ماراكيش اه سو ان not so different from where I come from in Nyandiwa village, you guys. <laughs> the show as you know, the stuff we used to, we used to shower with, um, like the stone, the, the way we used to live in like a normal kitchen with ingredients. Uh, you can see there the showering stuff, you can see the oil stuff, you can see a lot of um, essential oils made from plants. You can see lots of... Uh, uh, they even have the, what do you call it, the peanut that's made locally. Like the way we make it in Nyandiwa, we, in Nyandiwa we, <laughs> we do this, we pound it until it's ready. Here they do a cycle thing, I'll show you in the video. And it becomes soft and nice and yeah, it's just local living really, like the same way. Now, I'm going to take you through Nyandiwa village. From now on, I'll be taking you to our hut in Nyandiwa, how we do the aliya, how we do the nice old dry meat in my village. So yeah. I'm going to start doing this as well. So. <laughs> Hi, could you show us the things you bought? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So we went in there, you buy some stuff. They're really nice stuff, though. I, I rarely buy things that are marketed, but these ones are very natural, very nice. We have this crystal thingy here. This crystal thingy. This thing is really strong. You take a very tiny, I mean a very tiny piece, like extremely tiny, a minute piece. Put it in your tea or hot water or whatever. It's then eucalyptus. It's eucalyptus. Eucalyptus actually, yeah. It's extremely strong. So if you're clogged, sinuses, asthmatic, whatever, this is what you use. Snoring. Yeah? Snoring. If yeah, you snore as well. Yeah, if you snore as well, yeah, you can use this, by the way. That's a allergies and all that. And all allergies, yeah. So like me, I have uh, nitis, so I do use that. So this is a face mask. It's covered because it's going to the airport, so I don't want to remove it. But yeah, this is a face mask. This face mask. It's actually liquidish. It's liquidish, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this face mask is basically for the face. Really. So it's, it's made with mask. argan oil, honey. It's made argan oil, honey, and all that. And then we have, ah, I don't know what this is, but. This yeah, is also argan oil, oil. argan oil with gardenia for yeah, hair. Yeah, so this one, this one is for falling hair and dandruff. Mm. And if you have. Uh, dry, you dry hair. Dry hair or all those things, basically about hair. If you want healthy hair. And argan oil is argan oil is only the trees only found here in Morocco. And the trees only yeah. Uh, yeah. It's natural. All these things are natural. Nothing, no chemical, mm. no chemical at all. So yeah, I bought this one. I bought the mask, and I bought my crystal. So yeah, we are going to. We still going on to the Atlas Mountains. The excursion continues, guys. And we drank the good tea though. The tea, the tea is very nice. So yeah, see ya. Atlas so this is basically a picture of the Atlas Mountains. So after stopping at the Baba village, we had another long drive towards the hill. Uh, we were going to Orica, which is like a nice waterfall, but you know, before that, these people have a nice itinerary. You stop at the Baba village, then you stop in this place to eat, which is like a long river going down from the hill. You can eat by the side. You you sit better on the floor. It's a, it's a nice setting, really nice, awesome setting. You sit on the floor and you eat. So, yeah, I love this one actually. It's relaxed, you end up with a waterfall. So, you see, it's too comfortable. Ah, you know, Zambia, what you copy? Huh? No, Zambia, what you make? Atlas Mountains, bad though. Same thing. Atani when you see view. Eating by the waterfall. Beautiful place. This is how you sit. This is your table. And that's the river. Nothing better. Nothing better, nothing better.
out of the corner of the world. You need to get from this side. So that I will capture you. Hi, I'm Governor. Tell us your dessert that you chose is so much relish. I thought this was orange with the... They said orange and cinnamon. I thought it was something sleek and fancy like a cake. Too many orange in the spring. This is very Literally. interesting. Literally. Yeah. Orange in the cinnamon. Orange in the spring. Orange in the spring. Orange in the So this is us now going to the mountain top. So after eating, it's a very bad idea. We eat fast, get full, and then off to the uh, to chasing waterfall, off to Orica area. This is all Orica area anyways. But now we are off to the waterfall itself and it you have to go way up. Some people couldn't even go. So this one you have to be fit. There's no two option. Uh, there's no two way about this one. You have to be fit. You have to be fit. You see my legs, man, this guy walks out like crazy. Every day I must do some 20, 30 minutes. And there's no fear. I don't do the gym, by the way. So, just a pointer. I don't do gym. I'm just walking out to the house. Just easy workout. Normal routine is, but consistent and disciplined. I'm very consistent. I'm disciplined with my health. Disciplined with my body. I want to look good. I want to, you know, I want to be fit when I go to these places. I can walk around. You can see Jesse as well. Fit, you know. Fit as a table going up the stairs. <laughs> One of the ladies couldn't even manage at some point. She had to stay back. You don't want to be in that position. So make sure when you become a traveler and adventurer, you work out, you know. You're fit, stay fit. And don't have to do anything crazy. You just have to walk. You have to stay <laughs> active. You have to avoid being fat. Oh, man, that's not good to say. But yeah, it's the truth. Avoid being fat, yeah. Um, nice. So... That's like a Did traditional fridge. fridge. You see that? They just sprinkle water on those things. And it's like a really, really cool, really. Um, so, yeah, that's just us walking up the hill. It's just a long walk, by the way. Through the villages. Rough. I like it this way. Nice adventure. I loved it. Um, those are my friends. We became friends. They are all from the UK. So, we know where they're from. We got talking. We got really awesome people. The beauty of traveling, you make a lot of friends on your way, and yeah, on our way, we had to stop somewhere. Look at these covers, the industrial covers, they're like, they make really amazing, beautiful stuff. Continue to the rooftop, not rooftop, mountain top, yeah, more like a rooftop, yeah. Mountain top continuing up, as you can see, people are in front and behind me are trying their best. Uh, you know, to go through and experience this amazing thing. Sometimes I wonder why we chase waterfalls so much, but it's just the same kind of waterfall. But then it's nice when you get there. It's the adventure. It's the journey. It's the experience. It's the fact that you can say, I've done this. I've seen this. I've been here. You know, the beauty, the beauty of just saying, oh, you know, I've been to all these places. I've chased it. I got there. I saw it. I touched it. I took a photo. You keep I memories this way. Really you keep so. memories. You, okay? and you never know when you want to live without some awesome memories. So, yeah. Guys, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Lot, lot more coming on this channel now. And remember, we have the money channel. So, we have the Ken's Money Madness channel. But this one is just basically for adventure, having fun, uh, exploring the world, and making sure that you know what we live. So, this is just us still going on. On and on and on. Let me forward this. <laughs> then finally we got to the waterfall. As you can see, I'm having fun. It was freezing cold. You freezing there. I don't see me enjoying thinking that water is so cold that no one could get in. But you know what? Me, I have to try. It's the daring me. It's the fun me. It's the childish me. I got in there. I had to wash my face with that awesome cold water. And the feeling is good after having a really long walk. And as you can see, it's really beautiful, to be honest. It's amazing. This is at the top. Right at the top. Right at the top. Amazing views from up there. You can see Morocco. I don't know where I took that clip. But yeah, so here you can see the happy me the content me the fulfilled me right on top of atlas mountains we were just thinking about this thing in school no one knew 
that at some point, and you can see Chase there, no one knew that at some point we're gonna be sitting here visiting all these places. I am grateful to the world. To. I've managed it's to see the world. This is the last day, we're just walking to the airport. The airport wasn't so far, so we had yeah. some time, walked to the airport, and they had a big long walk. And they are really on the street like, yeah, walking, they use bikes and stuff. This so this is a long walk around the park in the center and to the airport. So yeah, we didn't take a taxi. So we walk a lot in our you know, adventures and that's the way we experience the cities, that's how we get to know everything, that's how we then get to actually see and interact with it properly. So we actually just decided to walk to the airport. Transport to the airport is really cheap because it's like I think ten minutes drive from where we were living. But we decided no what we have time. Why not walk and see more stuff, enjoy more things, you know? That's how you should approach adventure. I hope this is good. Please subscribe to the channel. More adventure coming. Um, and let me know, let me know what you think. Are you going soon?